Yo guys, what is going on? It is TC or Darcy back here and welcome back to another episode of the I say Rust Survival Series, Subnautica Survival Series. So yesterday as you guys know we did get the uh, the sea glide or whenever it was, it, it might have been yesterday, it might not have been yesterday, it all depends on when I actually ended up uh, uploading this video, but we did get this this thing. There's a light on it, I didn't actually know that. I'll turn that off for now. Um, and we have this in our storage container so far. It's got some creeper creeper eggs. Creeper, I'm not playing Minecraft. Some creature eggs. Um, there's my sea glider in my event right now. There's some metal salvage. I want to put that in there. And that huge ass thing in there. And uh, we'll put the silicon rubber in there as well. But today, I think the first thing is to go ahead over there. And uh, go to the life pod 3 in the shallows. The crew reported their sea glide damage. So, I know... Oh, the hell? <laughs> I know we was going to go ahead and explore this in the last video, but... I didn't have time, so let's go explore it this time. Let's quickly do a quick dive into the water, and we're in, and the sea glides out. Okay, this thing is fast. Holy shit! How do I turn that thing up, thing off on top? Is there like a way I can do that? I saw, yeah, there you go. It is off, so I can turn it like the light on and off and stuff. Okay, all right. So it is 200 meters away. So we've got to cross the stalkers or whatever the hell they're called. We've got to, we've got to cross their path. Which uh, I don't feel that comfortable with, but you know what? Fuck them, alright? Fuck the stalkers. Oh my god, they seem to scare the life out of me. Also, the graphics are down a little bit. Because for whatever reason, I have to do it on display capture now. Rather than game capture, because game capture just won't work with some Nautica for me. Um, so yes, the graphics will be down. Oh, there's a stalker after me, is there? Is he after me? Yeah, he's definitely after me, alright. I have the power on. There it is, there. Is he off my towel? He is, he is, he's off. He's getting himself some, uh, some scrap metal or whatever the hell you guys want to call it. Alright, now let's go into life pod 3. Alright, let's put this away. Alright, we've got their abandoned PDA. Download PDA. Press tab to view. Alright. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. It's quite Our fast. To this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Ah, so they're probably dead then. Right, let's open the data box. Alright, we've now got a compass. Alright, so is that like the kind of the way that these work? I mean, they got really fucked by something, didn't they? Like... That thing caused like fire and shit, like they got completely destroyed. Alright, now I did see we got a new message, um, so I am going to head back to our place of origins, our lovely base over there. And um, we are definitely going to see what that new message is. Hopefully it's another life pod we can get like two done in one day. Just like, I don't know how many there are, how many life pods are there? Put the scanner out. Might as well have scanned this. I think we already have that, the mobile vehicle bay fragment. If we do, we might, yeah, we do. We might actually even make it today or something if we can. Try and find the resources to do that. You guys think about that? You guys think that'd be a cool idea if you do? Um, then we're going to do it. Because I want to get, like, as much of the story mode done as well. But I also want to enjoy the game for what it is. Like, build big bases, you know, have fun with the game. Not just do the story mode like everyone else is doing. So, uh, yeah, base is definitely on my priority list and it's going to be... A very big one. Let's put it that way. Alright, let's go up into the escape pod. And let's have a look at the new radio message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system. And this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Right, stranded near a cave system and under attack. Honestly, do I want to go for that or do I want to? I'm going to fabricate it first because we can kind of leave that as long as we want. Um, make a compass. All right. I would rather right now make the thing that's able to like get me to build things or whatever it's called. Is it habitat builder, wiring kit, computer chip, and a battery? That's all like stuff I don't know how to get. <laughs> Uh, oh, we can get the wiring kit, I think. Oh, can we? Hang on. Wiring kit is too silver or Okay. Which is table, coral sample, gold and copper wire. So we do need to copper wire anyway. Uh, I'm going to get some water as well, probably out of the box, if we have any in the box. And I think I can actually get table coral by getting a knife. 
or whatever they're called in this game. I think it's a knife. Yeah, it is a knife. It is a knife, guys. Don't doubt me, all right? I know what I'm talking about 100%, all right? Still got 101 health, which is quite funny. Um, if I get a knife, I think I should then that way be able to actually go and do do that. So I need that silicon rubber that's in here. All right, that's fine. That's fine by me. That one silicon rubber that I got. Let's go into personal. Nope, it's in equipment. There we go. All right, survival knife. So if we get this, then I do believe we should be able to do it. Oh, the what the fuck the happened in the Braxis Prime? Well, I'm happy I got it because I now know. It was what I was talking about earlier with the uh, in yesterday's video with the table coral. If I go over to one of these, I think it is. I'll probably go a bit further to get it if it, if it isn't this giant coral tube. No, that's definitely not it. It's just little bits of uh, coral that hang on the edge of like cliff faces and stuff is what I'm looking for. I guess we'll go super power speed, and then uh, when we find some, I'll show you. Right, this is it, I believe. Uh, is this table coral? Yep. And then you then like knife it. Yep. And then you then pick it up. All right. So how much does this take up then? Oh, it's just one piece. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you just literally just knife it, and then you then pick it up. I don't know how much I need, so I'm just gonna pick up a load and then drop the rest. Um, I think it that was it, wasn't it? I think that might have been it. Literally just to build. The new base and stuff that could be awesome if that's it the game like this game is a very grindy which i kind of like i think that's a good uh, a good feature for once a non-grindy game that's enjoyable to play all right so having that build up i don't know it isn't we've got to get the computer chip still so can we get the computer chip now yes we can all right and then we'll then work on the wiring kit i guess if that was a thing oh, i can get this sort of stuff as well like a waterproof locker hmm. okay that build us a wiring kit and battery. I think we can make a battery, surely. Can we? I guess that's on this as well. Yeah, batteries, acid mushrooms, and copper. We might actually have that in here. I'm not too sure. Like, we just you need to go out and farm quite a bit, um, for sure. For definite. Um, but I don't know what we really should be farming. We've got salt and stuff. And we've got these huge creeper vines. I guess we'll just go out and farm just about everything. So, I'll, I'll find out exactly what we need, really. So, we need power cell and I think the other thing was a wiring kit yes a wiring kit so what does a wiring kit need so a power cell power cell and two silver ore all right a power cell what the hell's wrong with me it's a power cell isn't it no a battery so it's just copper so we need copper and silver all right copper and silver oh my god you scared the life out of me don't blow up please Right, well, we'll get the cave sulfur because it's always useful for stuff, apparently. So, you know, we'll find out. Oh, there is none. Little bastard. The hell's that? Is that limestone? Oh, yes. Right, come on. Titanium, really? The one time I don't really want titanium, like, you know. There we go. A bit of copper. We need some silver. Where does that come from? Is that like a rarer? Oh, we've actually just got some. Okay. That's actually pretty useful, not going to lie. Right, we have to get out of here real quick because um, we are going to die very soon if we don't. Come on, we make it. Oh, 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 that was close. All right, let's go back to the ship now, and um, I think that's, that's everything we need, unless we need a bit more silver or something. We might need more of it. I'm not sure. Resources, electronics, wiring kit. We've got the two silver. Ore. Let's see if we've got enough for the battery. We've got enough for the battery. Yes. All right, we can already make the habitat builder, I do believe. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes. All right. So we're going to find out how big the base is that we can build. Okay. Okay, so they need titanium and lead just for one foundation. Quite expensive, aren't they? All right. So how does it all actually work then? I guess we'll just find out today, like, what we're going to build and stuff. I guess we'll do a foundation first we've got to find somewhere to build it um so let's go we don't want to go near the aurora because that's oh that's all gonna be radiated soon bit of lag there quite a bit of lag actually and we want to go somewhere relatively flat Joe, you know over here look at this look at this big area here what about this like this yeah this huge area here right, so we get a foundation oh okay they're actually bigger than i thought they'd be i'm gonna be honest with you can I not put it lower at all, or does it have to go that high? And I can go lower if I bring it down here. We might as well start it up here. It's going to be quite a 
pie base. I mean, I've discovered that now. Alright, I guess that's as low as it will allow me to get it. Alright, construct. Oh, okay. Oh, that's well sick. Alright. Oh, it's got little pillars as well. Okay. So it's not just floating then. It is actually like in the floor and stuff. You can go under it. Yo, I like this. Alright, I really like this. Alright, so... All we've got to do now is get titanium and lead, and then we can then get more. So, uh, let me go ahead and find some of that, I guess, because we're going to try and build a base um, in this episode, I guess. That is that is a plan to at least start the build, start the base build. There we go, yep. Field of water is always the best type of water. Alright, guys, just fact. <laughs> oh, okay. Now. Alright. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus. Let's watch this. Nine, Nine eight, eight, seven, six. Oh, six oh, yeah, I will, don't worry. Three, two. Oh my god. <laughs> See, games like this just make me happy. That. It's fucking sick. Alright. Radiation suit. How do I make a red suit then? It's quite clear that's important. Fiber mesh and lead. Why lead? <laughs> Why is it always lead? All right. Why lead? Like, it could be anything but lead and it has to be lead. Right, let's assume all of this. Um, stabilizing. I'm also going to do a quick performance of a self scan. Can I, can I not do it in here? Oh, that, there we go. That's why. Right, self scan. Uh, oh, normal. You see the little thing there? Normal. I'm normal, guys. All right. I am a normal person. Apparently. I don't believe it, but apparently I am. All right, so. We're going to make a battery, so that means we need to go out and get some more coral. Not, not coral, acid mushrooms, that's the one. Alright. Right, let's go up here. Let's make like two batteries or something. Um, I know we're going to need them, so they're, they're kind of useful to have. So we'll make two of these, and then we'll then uh, go down to where I've been told to go. Um, I actually kind of want to get slightly higher health. I don't see the point in not using this. Um, I can make more of them, so having that 101 health always will help. We can put away this titanium and stuff right now. We're actually going to get rid of these flares. Like I think they're kind of useful, U useful, useless. I don't actually know what you use them for. So um, we're going to get rid of them. Can I not drop them? Uh, game, let me drop things that are useless, please. All right. Well, right now the majority of this stuff in here is useless to me. <laughs> Let's be honest, guys. All right, we're going to put the habitat builder away as well. And I think we'll put some cave sulfur away. I think we're good enough. All right. Let's go out into the world. Now can I throw this stuff away? Yeah, drop, drop, drop. Uh, I'll drop these now. I don't need them. Um, Drop the two flares. Oh, when you drop them, they actually go off. That's pretty cool. Right, now I was told, roughly, from a certain angle of the Aurora, I should, from roughly in this direction, I think the guy was saying, roughly, um, I should be able to find this little ridge. And then I should go down there. And there'll be a uh, large amount of um, sulfur and stuff in there. But I don't know since, like, well, if the map's changed since this guy made his video on it. So I guess we'll just have to find out. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I hope that thing's on to me. I also don't know how far away it was either. That thing radiated. Is the Aurora radiated, that thing? It has, isn't it? I think you dare bite me, boy. It's not happening. Oh, you bit something. You still after me, laddie. Not happening. I'm not actually sure the exact direction. I, I was, I'm pretty sure it was in this this ish direction. But it definitely weren't down here. But I know it was apparently roughly below depth of 100 meters. I don't know if you guys know any way to get lead other than just like never finding it, then please do tell me. Because I can't find it, alright, anywhere. Alright. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. 
These all terrorist ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up in the meantime. Well, I mean, like, there's there's nothing I can tell you apart from the fact that the thing's fucking blown up, all right? It said nuclear radiation everywhere, all right? Like, no one's gonna pick up on it, all right? One, you're too late. You, you should have done that like a couple hours ago, all right? The thing's blown up. What? What an idiot! It's not my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> what a what a what a stupid idiot. Those those little stalker things don't scare the shit out of me. Let alone one of the the big the big things. That that's you know, I'm fine with that. Alright, they they don't they don't scare me at all. Fuck is that noise. Right, this thing's oh okay. It's like a new part of the ocean. Like this is like completely different to anything I'm used to. What the fuck is that? Okay. Alright, not not comfortable being here. Meters, leading to an unknown environmental Holy shit. Alright. Let's go up. Let's go. We can do it. We can definitely do it. No pussying allowed. None allowed. None allowed. None allowed. Alright. Life pod 17. Alright. I feel safe whenever I get into these things. I swear down I shouldn't. I shouldn't. At all. Alright. Going back up. Yeah, you guys need to tell me what the fuck that thing is. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not going near it. Never going near something like that. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Jot, this is where I get my lead from, you know. I'll just look around for a little bit. I don't want to stay here with that huge thing, whatever the fuck that thing is. But I might have to, just see if I can find some lead here. Like, it might be worth it. Got some salt. We just go along the bottom, see if we find anything. Fuck is that thing? Oh, you made all that noise. Fuck off! No, you didn't. Look at you. You're more pathetic than me. You did make all that noise. Yeah, little pathetic thing. All right. So we are 70 meters down. That is quite far. Question is, is there any of the deposits that I'm looking for? I've got to go up because my oxygen is running low. We're gonna to need to get like a sea moth to come down here, I think. Like, honestly, ASAP, a sea moth would do me good. Not gonna to lie to you guys, but I think this is where we've got to find those salt deposits. I think there might be one there. Yes, that's one, guys. We just found some gold. Thank fuck for that. I'm gonna do that little rowdy thing again, man. He got really annoyed, he did. Oh, there's one here. Yes. Oh, that's limestone. Ah, oh. it's kind of annoying. Is that? Is that it? Is that sandstone? That's limestone as well, I believe. Yep. We're so far down, guys. Look at this. Look at this, man. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oxygen efficiency decreased, mate. More than decreased. It doesn't exist. The fuck did I just annoy? Oh. One of them things, that's fine. Mate, I can ignore them all day long. That, that thing just seems like really pathetic. What the hell even is that, man? Look at it. It's so big. Mate, I reckon that's gonna be like the strongest thing in the fucking sea. Look at it. Guys, I think that's gonna be all for this episode. Um, I think there might be one more radio transmission. I'm gonna quickly check. If there isn't, guys, that'll be it for today's video. We have got the mobile vehicle bay. We have actually started our base technically. We are gonna get some stuff before. We're going to listen to this one more, one last radio message, and then we'll then end the episode there. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big 
on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. So now he's acting all like, you know, emotionally attached to us. After, you know, not being very happy earlier. Disgusted by him, guys. I'm disgusted. But, um, I know the spoilers of what happens to the sunbeam anyway. I hope you guys don't, because I don't want to ruin it for you. But, uh, yeah. They definitely get justice served for what he just said. 100%. Anyway, guys. I'm going to leave today's video there. I hope you guys are happy with our progress so far today. We did make the mobile vehicle, but I thought that thing disappeared. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck is it? But we got that. We've got a, a thing down here, I think. I think it's this direction. Maybe it's not. It's in that direction. We've got a foundation over there. And we did visit the last air... Well, the last life pod thing. We've got another couple to do, I think. We've got another radio message. I will leave that to tomorrow's episode. That'll be the first thing I do in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to smash that like button. Comment what you guys want to see in terms of other content on the channel down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.